What a monetary bail system does is it uh, sorts people out on the basis of how much money their, their girlfriends and their grandmothers and whatnot can, can raise for them. Uh, it has not a heck of a lot to do with uh, whether we should be letting them out on, on the streets. Um, but of course, the other little problem we haven't talked about yet for defendants is housing. They literally have no place to go other than the jail. Can't put them in public housing, that's forbidden. Can't put them in Section 8 housing, that's forbidden. They can't uh, go to private landlords, A, because private landlords don't want to uh, rent to somebody they see as a thug and And besides that, they don't have any money, so they can't uh, put down a security deposit. They have danced on their mothers and their grandmothers very last year, so they're not welcome back there. They literally have no place to go. I don't really have the answer, but I think what it is is that they ask the wrong question. The purpose of bail is to uh, try to uh, make the public safe until such time that you get the trial, have a fair trial, and uh, move on whatever that is, whether guilty, not guilty, guilty, uh, house them or uh, find them or whatever. And I think it, a lot of times you forget that goal, so then all of a sudden the bail just becomes exactly what you're describing. It just becomes a, a method, and the method becomes the uh, goal. Way of protecting the uh, community while the person awaits a trial, uh, GPS, or whatever case may be, may be a better alternative. It is, but again, it, they need a place to live, you know, a place where they can be <coughs> monitored as being at. One of, one of the things that we've done um, in, in response to that is to contract with uh, <coughs> Haymarket, which provides substance abuse treatment and a safe haven which provides transitional housing for beds so that people can be uh, on electronic <coughs> monitoring and in a substance abuse program or in uh, a uh, supportive housing environment while they await their trial rather than, uh, rather than in the jail when they have no home to, to go to. Uh, and that, that's a program that I think both the sheriff and, uh, and we would like to expand that is the number of beds that are available uh, for those purposes because I think that's a, that's an important point. We have people in the jail who uh, have worn out their welcome at home, um, which is one of the reasons they're still there. The family hasn't come up with the bail. Let me, let me speak to bail for a minute. You know, the, we have a good number of people in our jail, I don't remember the percentage, uh, whose cash bond is $6,000 or less. Now, so most of the people in this room can, you know, get their families and <coughs> And whatever to come up with six thousand uh, dollars, and we would be uh, out on the street. And we're not any more dangerous than the people who are in the jail, or any less dangerous than the people in jail, since so we got six thousand uh, dollars. And what we have to remember is, though, that the people in our jail are not necessarily those who are accused of the most serious crimes, or the people who can't pay their bail. Uh, and that's not necessarily the same for. 